Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in our last episode of the Fresh Start series for No Man's Sky 4.0, we went, we met the Atlas, and he teleported us to Artemis's grave, and that is not cool. So now we need to go tell Apollo what the heck is going on here, because I didn't think that, you know, Apollo or uh, Artemis would be gone, but we found his grave. Let's see, where's my marker at? Oh, of course they switch it out. I hate that. Don't switch it when I'm in the middle of doing something here. All right. So yeah, if you ever lose track of something, make sure your mission is selected in the log because uh, they don't like to keep it that way. <laughs> All right, we have a hollow terminus here so we can call Apollo. Oh, oh yeah. We have a hollow terminus around here. <laughs> Target sweep. Let's get out of here. Over there. If I could change one thing that they've added to the No Man's Sky, it would be the target sweeper. I would get rid of that thing. Because, I, I, you know, I appreciate that they want to add things and, you know, make it more interesting and, like, in-depth. You know, but the tar target sweeper is not one of those things. <laughs> Not one of those things at all. And, oh, 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 and a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get up here. Now we got to tell Apollo what the heck is going on. And then I think we run into Null after that. And if you guys have been paying attention to the story in here, Null is very important to the travelers. He was one of the first, maybe even the first traveler so let's get over here and let's call apollo let's see what the heck is going on here network compromised manual override required there is, are no signals matches for artemis or apollo the terminal is a stream of warnings and error okay the warning messages see some new frequency shimmers into being oh this might be apollo or uh, null Data stream overridden. What? You are not alone. Tell me. What's the point of living if we know that life will finish? Uh, we improve the lives of others, of course. That's the actual answer. And when they die too, what then of those improvements? What then of good and evil? Nothing remembered, nothing forgiven. That's not true. You affect one person's life and they can affect someone else's. Come on now. Null is a De Debbie Downer. There's a lot of Debbie Downers in this uh, game. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been and I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then, I wonder? I would do it. Like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You remind me of myself, you know. The blood of Artemis is data. The heart, it's glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis's frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. The stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the mind arc. A device that they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. Let's do it. I accept not knowing who the stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures. But if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. All right, so we need a soul engine to make the mind arc. So let's go into our, uh, our suit and it's gonna be under your blueprints. To make a soul engine, we need cadmium, living pearl and metal plating. To make a mind arc, we need the soul engine, wiring loom, and glass. So we're going to need cadmium. Now, in order to find cadmium, you have to go to a red star system. So I will show you what that is. But there is a way to kind of cheat it, to glitch it a little bit. You don't have to go to a red star system. You can if you want to. And that's a whole big process. But if you just want to get it done quickly, there is a way to do it way faster. So let's do this. Let's 
So once you go into uh, space, let's get over here. Now, when you're in space, you go to your gala go galaxy map. Oh, you have to get an orbital, orbital station, a uh, atlas station. There you are. Now, if you do free look, you press B if you're on Xbox or O if you're on PlayStation, and you can kind of look around. Now, you'll notice there's different colors, like this star right here. That's a green star. You need an emerald drive to get there, but it'll give you emerald because it's a green star. There's going to be planets in this system that have emerald on them. You'll also see blue stars. Let's see if I can find a blue one right here. This is a blue star. That's indium. You can find indium there, but you need an indium drive in order to get there. It's a special warp drive that, that'll protect your ship from damage. Or if you go to a red star, you'll find cadmium there. That's what we're looking for. But you need a cadmium drive to get there. You can build a cadmium drive. It's kind of a pain in the butt, though. So instead of doing all of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in the space station or space anomaly. And we're going to go talk to uh, uh, Ares. Because Ares will sell us something that we need, and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. I'm looking through here. We got some stuff we can sell. Oh, yeah, we have warp cells. Let's put those away. We can sell some of this stuff. Like, look at all the stuff we have in here. We can sell and just make room. All right. Once you land on the space station. Oh, yeah, we have multiplayer turned on. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, and hopefully. Yeah, I don't have any chat. I'm good. I'm not. I'm always afraid to have multiplayer turned on because if I'm using my microphone, I could like talk to everyone around and I don't think they would appreciate that. Anyway, once you land on the uh, space anomaly, come on over here to Ares because Ares will sell you an upgrade you absolutely need. Let's go over here to Iteration Ares. Traveler, uh, progress for progress. This is where he'll give you uh, nanites if you uh, have increased your milestones. So let's do that real quick. That way we can make enough. And we got 200 nanites. That's good, right? But also what we can do is we can go to purchase upgrades and he will sell you just basic stuff. He's not going to sell you any of the good stuff. Like he gives you B's and C's. So it'll give you, you get an upgrade, but it's not really usable except for right now. So what you're looking for is the pulse engine module. Go to your pulse engine module. You want to buy one, two, three, four. Let's buy five of them. We're going to buy five of these pulse engines. That might be too much. So give me a second while I look. I haven't done this in a while, so I kind of forget. And we have our Sentinel upgrades that we can sell to make even more nanites. There we go. So we have five pulse engine modules, right? So what we can do is let's go to our spaceship. Pulse engine modules, when you install them, so you pick it up and install it. There you go. It's a pulse engine upgrade. But if you break it, look at the bottom of this display. 75 deuterium, 75 cadmium, and one wiring loom. Break it. We just got cadmium for free. Well, not for free. For nanites. We just bought it with nanites, you guys. That is what you want to do. Let's put that in there. Boom. And then and break it again. We just got 150. Let's see what we need to make our mind or our soul engine. Perfect. We only needed two. So, guys, keep in mind. Hopefully, you didn't buy it already. You only need two. You only need to buy two. I bought five because I did not remember how much I needed. But we only needed two of them to get our cadmium. But we're also going to need living pearls and metal plating. We got metal plating. We can do that easy. All right. So we're going to need some living pearls. So that's easy. I mean, if you want to go do uh, it the right way, the correct way, all you have to do is come back here to your uh, ship upgrade area. And if you buy the... Uh, cadmium drive let me show you in order to get to a red star you need the cadmium drive so where are you at right here boom the first one you get you have a hyper drive and then you can get the cadmium drive right here it costs 80 nanites and you're gonna need chromatic metal and wiring loom in order to make it so you don't need cadmium to make a cadmium drive that's easy right and the same thing for your emerald drive you do not need emerald you need cadmium so each one of these drives goes into the next one into the next one so you can buy this and go to a red star if you want to. Totally legit. Totally w good way to do it. I'm just kind of cheesing it a little bit by buying the upgrades. So, is what it is. However you want to do it. I just know that it's a little easier to do it that way. Oh, look at those awesome ships over there. 
Man, I need to buy another ship. How much money do we have? 25 million, probably not enough for a cool ship. But a, a decent one. We might need to buy... Look at all this stuff. Wait, that's not mine. Oh, yours. Mine is over here. Oh, God. I got confused. I was like, oh, God. Well, let's go get a living pearl, you guys. Now, when we get, when we look for a living pearl, you want to look for a planet with water. But not just any planet with water. You want a planet that has really deep water in it. Because the uh, living pearls, they do not show up in shallow water. It needs to be deep. So let's get out here. Let's look for a planet that has a lot of water on it. Yeah, like that one's not going to have enough water on it. It's a flourishing planet. That's a nice planet, but it's not a water planet. There's another one over there. I don't see a lot of water. You can kind of see it from, you know, a distance. You'll see it. Oh, man, it's all water. So, oh, there you go. That's one's water. You see how it has land a little bit and water? Now, I am testing something. As you can see, there's no stars, like, streaming by me as I pulse drive. I do have a mod. This is going to be for when I stream. Because whenever I, whenever you stream as, a, you know, on YouTube, you, uh, you run into encoding lag, which is basically the stream can't keep up with as much stuff flying on the screen. Oh, we just had a, uh, we just had a storm up here. Great. That's okay. I can still see the water, though. I think. Maybe. All right. So, yeah, we're looking for water. But anyway, yeah. So, I took out these stars to make the streams a little bit smoother. Because it takes a lot of bandwidth to push those stars. And even then, even with, you know, I have really good internet. I, I promise I do. I know you guys don't believe me. Let's see. We're looking for these little clam shells. Armored clams. But yeah, even with a really high-speed internet, it's not fast enough to stream those stars. So I just got a mod to remove the stars, and hopefully everything runs smoothly. Okay, they're all down there. Where the heck? Now, this is the, this is the scary part, because you have to dig down under the ground. But if you, if, you, uh, if you dig down into the shell, you could destroy the armored clam. So you don't want to do that either. Is there a cave over here? With it? Okay, there, there we go. Boom. Yeah, see? Look at it. He's right here. Freaking cave. And you, you shoot it to open it, and then you pick up the pearl. So if you do it the right way, the correct way, you do this. And you have about five seconds to grab the pearl. And if you're too slow, it'll clamp down on you and give you a little bit of damage. Well, let's go straight back up again. Beautiful. All right, so we got our pearl. We're good to go. And while we're here, I'm going to grab some crystal sulfide. These are, this is another one that's hard hard to find later on. So, I mean, might as well grab it while we're here. Be careful. There we go. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. And then we just need to craft three metal platings, and we got it. And also, we need to craft some glass as well. Yeah, we're doing all of this without even leaving the system. I love that. So freaking good. So freaking good, you guys. Seriously. Recharge all my equipment, making sure it's all good to go. There we go. So now we are set. We got our pearl. We got some uh, chlorine. All right. Oh, not chlorine. We have some crystal sulfide. Excuse me. Not chlorine. Get out of here. That way the sentinels don't get me. All right, so now we're out here. We can just make it as we're going. One, two, three. So now we can make a soul engine. We have everything we need. Perfect, without even leaving the system. I love it. And now in order to make a uh, oh, mind arc, we need three glass. But that's okay. Oh, we, oh, no, I used up all my silicate powder. We need to get some silicate powder. Dang it. Where's my... Okay, we need to get out of here. I'm going to go to a different planet. Oh, no, or I'm going to lay it on this planet because I'm already here anyway. That yeah, worked out. We just need some silicate powder. So again, use your terrain manipulator. Just dig a hole in the ground. Because you'll get silicate powder from digging a hole in the ground. And you need 40 for one glass. One piece of glass. So we're going to need at least 120. So we're going to make it bigger. You know, our, our terrain manipulator, we can make the size bigger and smaller, right? So we can, if you make it larger, then it'll give you more, you know, faster. Also, I wish that they would re let us remap it. Can I remap that button? Control map options. Oh, I can remap the controls. Okay. Oh, you can only do it for freaking PC. 
Oh, that's irritating. Okay. Well, I hate it because, you know, left and right bumper, but left bumper is also your shield. So look at that. <laughs> I, if I, if I want to use my shield, I'm going to resize my terrain manipulator. Why put it on the same button? Oh, anyway. Let's make some glass since we have the uh, silicate powder. Pop that in our refiner. We're going to need more than that, though. So let's do that. There we go. Four. We'll make one extra. We have one extra of everything, I guess. <laughs> and remember, guys, you can also... I know I keep saying this, but I want to remind anybody who's new that's just popping in. You can pick up materials just by shooting the ground with your uh, starship weapon. So, you know, I'm picking up a whole bunch of ferrite dust. I'll pick up a whole bunch of everything. Everything you can shoot. Now, you can't get, like, uh, copper or any of the special metal deposits or anything like that. Like, look at this. You can't get anything from that. But you can get, like, the general, like, ferrite dust, cobalt, you know, copper, all that kind of stuff. Exosuit. Let's grab our glass out of there. Now, let's make the mine dark. There we go. Soul engine, three wiring loom, and three glass. We have the mind arc. Now we had to wait for our objectives to update. That way we know where to go. Where are we going? Oh yeah, we should probably uh, tell Apollo or not Apollo, Polo and uh, Nada what's going on here. We got to tell them what's going on. <laughs> oh. Look at all this extra crap I got in my inventory. Can go in here. Look at all that stuff. Look at all this stuff. And I mean, I, I do have my pulse engine, so I mean, I could technically just slap that in there and break it. Now, I mean, I'm not saying that they're bad, but they're not useful to me. Like plus 4% boost. That is an increase, but it's not large enough to, to uh, be worth a spot in my technology inventory. So that's why I, I install and then delete it. But, I mean, if you want it, go ahead. If you got the room and you want some kind of an upgrade, you know, the C-class level of uh, upgrades are okay. They're decent. But I would say if you're going to sit with something that you want to keep for a long period of time, aim for at least an A-class. At least an A-class. You know, I prefer S-class upgrades whenever I can get them. Or a uh, black market X-class if you want. But the C and the Bs are eh. Not worth it in my opinion. See what's going on. Come on, Nada. There you go. Traveler entity. Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen other entity. Uh, other entity is old. Older than Nada. Older than our home. Nada feels them watching. Yeah, he's talking about Null. Nada asked the other entity, are they first or are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. Apollo entity ignores us too. Ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern. It is valid. Nada understands. So, yeah, no, he's like, nah, I don't want any part of your crap. I don't want to deal with you guys. Right, let's talk to Polo. Hey, Polo, what's going on, buddy? Nada says you have met Missing Friend. Missing Friend did not like me. What are you not? How do you not like you, Polo? You're awesome. They are not like me or Nada. They have freedom. Like all of you, traveler friends, but they do not share the sights they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. So, yeah. Null does not tell anybody else about his findings. Like, he is searching the universe and, you know, discovering things, but he's not sharing them. But now that we've uh, told Nada and Polo what's going on, let's go check out the... Or let's go talk to uh, Null with the Mind Dark. Well, actually, Artemis, technically. Let's see where it's marked. Where are you at? Over there. Oh, too close to the space station or space anomaly. Come on. There we go. But it looks it looks very cool and different to not have any of the stars. Look at that. It's so weird. It just removes the stars. That's it. So we still have the lines. I need to I need to find a, a companion up uh, a mod to remove the speed lines coming. 
I mean, maybe, maybe not. I like it kind of because it kind of tells you where you're going, where you're heading. I saw a trading outpost over there. I did see a trading outpost over there. Look at that. And look at this. We don't need a freaking target sweeper. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for not using the target sweeper on this one. Good Lord. Did I already use this one? Nope. It's a brand new one. It's fresh. All right. Let's go up here. Got some manites out of there. We also... The more important thing is we got the navigational data. That's what you want. Navigational data is hard to come by. So grab that navigational data from those uh, saving points, those waypoints. Or save beacon, whatever you want to call it. I call it multiple different things, but you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> Let's get up here. Holographic comms tower. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Let's tune to Artemis. And we're going to get him inside of the mind arc, I assume, his soul. We're going to get his soul in the mind arc. Uh, comfort Artemis. I attempt, to, I attempt to comfort Artemis, telling them that they are, everything will be all right. They turned to me with a wild look of panic, clearly not expecting my voice. Who is that? Who? Um, it's me. Come on, man. I tell Artemis I am their friend, that I could not find them within the portal, but that I have found a way to restore them. I didn't think you would come back. You never gave up, did you? All these years. All these years? What do you mean? That happened like last week. Not even last week, like a couple days ago, maybe. I've been here for 20 years waiting for you. You were going to find my star chart, weren't you? Um, yeah, not 20, 20 years, 20 years. Who is that? Who, who's there? Artemis repeats their words again, our conversation all but forgotten. They stare at me, their eyes pained, their mind trapped in an endless loop. They appear to have spent 20 years in this pseudo death haunted by loneliness and fear. If the stranger's device works, perhaps I can help Artemis move on. Yeah, let's do it. Mind arc. I activate the mind arc. I do not know what I expect. Some show of light and fury, some catharsis where Artemis emerges in the flesh, restored to life before my eyes. But it is not to be. One moment I see their hologram and the next there is nothing. The stranger who gave me these blueprints beckons me over. Their signal is still active. Let's go talk to Null, I guess. Oh, God. Travelers are a dream, an idea that we have some special place in this universe. Artemis had it. You had it. Apollo, too, though they would conceal it. Even I had this dream long ago. We are countless, my friend, walking these worlds, yearning for friendship. No one wants to be alone, not truly. But the closer you get to others, the more you risk hurting yourself and hurting them. The deepest secret of the universe is not that of glass or the aeons or the uh, progenitors. It is the fact that the decision to abandon those who need you. It is a primal sin, the foundation of existence itself. Go to the stars, travelers. Your friends await you or wait for you. They will help you bring peace to poor Artemis. Return when you are finished. We have much to discuss. So I have to go back to Polo or Polo and Nada. Where's my ship at? There you are. What is going on here? So I have to bring the mind arc to Nada. Because I have Artemis or yeah, Artemis' soul in the mind arc. So now, I need to go to a space station. I have so much stuff to sell and get rid of. Dang it. You can sell that as well. 
Yeah, see all the stuff I have in my, <laughs> in my inventory? Just clogging up the inventory. Let's go talk to uh, Nada. Here it goes. Let me just say, it's not doing anything. Priest Entity Nada. Friend Entity, Polo observed your signal approach, but it was anomalous. The signature was from the wrong time. Are you well? Not incomplete? Not fading? Nada's visor like flares, burning with concern and distress. I'm gonna, no, no, I'm okay, buddy, I'm okay. I tell Nada that I am well. My condition has not changed since I emerged from the portal. Nada relaxes, but the question still hangs in the air. I tell them about Artemis, about Null, and about the Mind Arc. The vessel glows brightly as I reveal it. It is Echo. I, I never thought to see Traveler Soul. You are so beautiful. But friend entity, this is Artemis Echo is in pain, disconnected. This arc is no rescue. What do you mean? Artemis Echo will never have a body again, and it will never explore again. Old life is gone, but we can help them. Nada has a machine. No, not a machine. It is something living, a refuge. There is a choice. You may upload Artemis Echo to machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on. Or help Artemis Echo end the suffering. What about, what is this simulation? I ask what life would it be like inside the simulation? Nada pauses for a moment, staring at me strangely. Nada tells me Artemis would still feel joy at the things they experienced, but if they should learn of their fate, that they were alone, no longer real, unable to meet their friends, such knowledge may cause them great pain. You must choose, upload them to the machine, to sub-simulation where they may live on, or help Artemis Echo end the suffering. Is there any other way? Nada shakes their head strangely, trying to adopt my own mannerisms. The gesture is appreciated, if disconcerting. You must choose. Upload them to machine, to sub-simulation where they live, may live on, or help Artemis Echo. So there is no other choice. I've decided. Go ahead and speak with Polo, Traveler. They will help you calibrate the machines, no matter what your decision. Whatever you do, I am proud of your compassion. You are the traveler friend. Great, now I get to choose whether I let Artemis die completely or put him into, basically stick him in a machine that he'll never be able to leave ever again. Nada told me what you need to do. Just know, friend, that we support you, no matter the choice. I will prepare the machine. It is not a friend's refuge, private refuge. Please treat it with care. Great. So guys, most of the time, I all I basically always choose to help Artemis live on, he, uh, trap him in the machine. Because it, it's a weird, like, I guess, guilt complex. I don't want to be the one to kill him. But in this playthrough, I am going to let Artemis die. We're gonna we're gonna let him go. We're not gonna put him in the, the simulation. The machine is an ancient and powerful. It, the the machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The craft is extraordinary. It is clearly intended to attended to often with great love. I feel a whisper, not as faint hum over the speaker. As they commune with the machine, the words on the panel unscramble themselves. Nada entity authorization detected. Secondary simulation right enabled. This relic is a simulation of a solar system, a prayer offered by ancient Corvax to the Atlas, now reshaped at the heart of the anomaly. A single false solar system, so, so dear to Nada, it will act as a home for Artemis should I wish it. I'm going to allow Artemis to die. Even as I process my decision, Nada's hum takes on a quiet new intensity. I speak and their voice replies, intelligible now. They talk gently and suggest I place the Ark upon the terminal. I do so and I hear a whisper, a prayer. The Ark begins to unfold, twisting from its center, releasing the traveler's soul within. 
I witness a spark of blue light blaze within the air before me. It fades after a moment, and with it the last remnant of Artemis within this world. We just let Artemis die. I hear Nada's voice over the speaker, intelligible now and reassuring. They tell me that it is done. Artemis is now at peace. They suggest I do not dwell on these moments. They tell me I did the right thing. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. <coughs> Excuse me. But at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I mean, would you want to be stuck somewhere knowing that it's all fake? It's not real, but you can never leave and you can never meet anyone else like you're alone. I don't know. That seems worse to me. Let's, uh, let's talk to Polo. You did what you had to do, friend. Traveler Artemis is free of pain now. If you can say the same. Artemis Echo has been disconnected, freed from a cruel life. You have done well, Traveler. Your guilt, it is a sacrifice for the one you called friend. Go on without regret. I don't know about that. You always feel guilty about that kind of stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I do anyway. Freaking A. So that was a heavy episode. We finally, we found Artemis. We talked to Null. And we uh, let Artemis die. So hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button. And I will see you in the next one.